Hello there! This is an astrological forecast for Capricorn for July 2009. And this also applies if you have a Capricorn ascendant. So you Capricorns, well, we certainly know that you've got Pluto in your sign. And it's there until about 2023, 2024. So it's there for a long time. But always the first few years that Pluto enters a sign is when the most changes happen, when there's the most turbulence. And we're certainly seeing that on a world level in terms of Pluto in Capricorn and governments and structures crumbling and banks changing. And probably in some ways you Capricorns are feeling as though your structure is crumbling in many ways, as though you're really having to make some radical personal changes in every area of your life. And this, I feel, is what it's, it's been feeling like for you. I could go into a lot more detail, but this is just the monthly forecast here. And for the monthly forecast, you're going to have a lot of energy going out this month, Capricorn. You're not going to be able to sit back too much. This is about proactively going out and after what you want. We've got Venus and Mars in the early part of the month until about the 12th of the month, Mars, and about the 5th of the month, Venus. In your fifth house, this is very creative. So any of you who run your own business, who are thinking of having your own business, this is a great time because you can, with Mars there, you can put a lot of energy into it. And with Venus there, people are going to be drawn to you. So you've got a really good combination of energies there. Now, after that time of the month, after about the 11th of the month, we've got Venus, Mars and Mercury actually just for the beginning of the month. But not to confuse you, there's a, there's a focus on that sixth house very much of work and service to others. So you're going to be putting a lot of energy Capricorn into work and being normally a workaholic anyway. You're no stranger to that and you won't mind that. So you're going to feel quite assertive in your work area. You're going to feel like you know best which you normally do, but as well, there's also the Saturn influence where you are a little bit cautious of yourself and sometimes a little uncertain of yourself. But with Venus there, you're going to feel as you're going to get a lot more approval from people. People are going to be much warmer and more open to your ideas in the work arena this month. So really enjoy that. With Venus and Mars there as well, really important to look after your health. Are you taking care of your health? Are you getting enough exercise? Are you doing what's necessary with your diet? Quite important when those planets are there because they're just highlighting an issue that you just need to keep an eye on for you Capricorns. You Capricorn is a long lived sign, but you do have to look after your health and put structures in place to make sure that you stay on course and stay disciplined and focused. And then we've got Sun Mercury in your seventh house until the 23rd of the month. So Capricorn, this is quite a focus for you on your one-to-one -one relationships this month, particularly for the first three weeks or so. It's a time when it's shining your light on your business relationships, your intimate relationship if you have one, or even your close friendships. And it's time really to look at those relationships and maybe reevaluate them. Are they what you want them to be? Do you need to make some changes? Do you need to communicate anything? We've got Mercury there. So it's a really good time to communicate with any kind of person that you're in a partnership with. A really good time to do that for the first three weeks of the month. After that, we've got Sun Mercury moving into your eighth house, Capricorn. And this is going to suddenly make you a little more introspective. You're already a very receptive type of person anyway. You're not pushy out there, particularly not with relationships so much. So this is going to cool you down a little, calm you down, feel more introspective, but it's also a very important time, Capricorn, for you to look at your joint finances. Any investments, any finances, any insurance, any pension, anything like that needs to come under close scrutiny. With Mercury there, it's time to communicate your needs. So if you've got any joint finances or joint resources, it's really a time to get clear with any agreements. Mercury there helps you make agreements, helps you organise those agreements into a way that can work for both parties. And it may also mean that you need to also reduce any investments that you've got or sell off anything as well. It's, it's just a time to look at 
your financial picture, but particularly your relationship with any investment or banking institutions. You're cautious anyway, Capricorn. I'm not concerned about that you're going to go speculatively mad. That's not my concern. My concern is that you just take care of business and you make it a priority, particularly the last week of this month. So be ready to take action by the last week of this month in that area. Some of you may feel as though you'd like to do a little bit of traveling and you feel a little bit restricted. Somehow there's this feeling very much, I feel, around you at the moment of a restrictive feeling, as though you're kind of being held back and you just kind of want to break loose. Don't worry, this is very much a time for focusing on work, career and relationships this month really give a bit of shine and a bit of energy to your relationships and not only to your work area Capricorn that's quite important for you so that you go you don't get unbalanced I'm also seeing a possibility of you learning something entirely new something right outside your comfort zone and into a really totally new area so stay open for that stay open to any intuitive flashes that you get about studying something that you've never studied before so there you have it Capricorn, an interesting mixed month and I wish you well and remember that Pluto in Capricorn is all about you taking your power. So enjoy it too, it's not only heavy, it can be very enjoyable. I wish you a great month and thank you for listening. Bye for now.